Right, so I've been home for not a few hours and it's time to hit the road again because I'm getting on a train heading up north because I'm going to go and pick up a very special car. You're going to go and see it and I think a lot of people will go, brings back memories. It's good. Anyway, we're going to hit the road because we've got a busy day ahead and you're all coming along. So let's go. Right, you now join me where I am up in Preston. Quick little train journey. And we are here with a very, very, very special car. And look, my audience will know that I am the biggest RS6 lover in the world. Um, it's very, very safe to say. And what we have behind me is a car which I've just collected, what I've sourced for a football player. So if you know me as well, you will know I love my football also. I'm a massive football fan. I watch more football than I do racing and everything else and uh, it was really cool. He dropped me a message on Instagram. We stayed in touch and uh, I found him the Dream RS6, which he wanted with the kit on the Urban kit and everything else. Let's have a little look at the car, but it looks absolutely stunning. Audi RS6 in the Nardo Grey, and this has the Urban kit on it. Now this was probably one day 130 grand. I'm not gonna tell you the exact price on it, but it was a lot less than that. And uh, he's got himself a great deal, but how cool does it look with the Urban uh, rear diffuser, you get this lip here, you get another lip there, you get the side skirts. This is the kit I should have done on my car, uh, but I just never got round to doing it. But honestly, it's a great bit of kit. They are so good to drive and they look amazing. I've just been loving it. It's actually got four new tyres in it as well. We've got the full splitter on the front. Love it. Absolutely love it. Look at that. It's an absolute stunner and I know that he's going to love it. What a whirlwind four hit hours it has been. It's been absolutely insane and uh, well, dropped the car off, the RS6. I'm now in a very, very special new arrival. This is uh, the gentleman's previous car. We've now bought this in uh, to sell for him. So that's what we've got. It is a very, very nice GLE 63 S. Now this is a serious bit of kit. It's premium plus. So that means when it's premium plus, you get all of the extras on it it's on 23,000 miles and uh, i love i just do you know what these are brilliant these are absolutely brilliant gle 63s is the absolute gold go further this video is sponsored by car vertical you need to make sure you check them out i know lots of you are and we need to check out a report before we get cracking because this car as you can see this volkswagen golf has been damaged and you need to check the cars before buying them and with this dealership i am doing exactly that i'm checking them even more than i check cars ever before. This is because I don't want to get a car which has not got the history that it says it does. It might have a mileage discrepancy, it might have been stolen, but every car that comes into stock with my all new dealership, I check it. And this is why we can check the mileage right here but we can also see everything else. When it passed a technical inspection in Poland, exported, the, 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 here it says the vehicle was damaged three times. It says the rough repair cost. It brings up the full history of the car, even the specification. It even says when the car was manufactured, when the number plate changes, when the damage was uh, detected, and where it was detected. Here it was detected in Poland, and it was also detected in the United Kingdom as well. So it just makes your life so much easier. And if you were gonna buy this car, you'd be like, well, I'm pleased I didn't. Or maybe you wanted to buy a damaged car, but if you didn't, you now know you should have checked it with car vertical. Use my code, which is Archie, which is on the screen. Go and get involved right now. Yeah, how good does it look in the satin gray? Like I say, premium plus, it's got every single extra on it that you can imagine. And I personally think the GLE 63S is an incredible bit of kit. It drives amazing. Now I've been driving this car uh, the last, well, day since I picked the car up, but drove it all the way down. Uh, so obviously that took me, well, four or five hours on the day um and it's been brilliant it's a great car great to drive a lot of fun and i think doesn't it just look good in that color all round great car i i have been i've said it of every single car that i've got into stock or had into stock i'm like hmm i tell you what i want to keep that but i i genuinely have driven it that much and i've been like the fuel economy is ridiculous. We put eighty pounds in to get from Preston, and that has got me from Preston to London, and then I'm an hour and a half from London now, and I've still not fueled it up. That reminds me very much of my A45 days. Like 
when you just never have to fuel these Mercedes up. They're that good on fuel. I don't understand why, because that's what every other car I've owned has been terrible. What is happening is I'm heading finally to drive the all new Range Rover Sport SV. I'm excited to just get my hands on the car. I've obviously bought one. Um, there's news on my order as well because well, I'm gonna, it will happen in this video. You're actually going to see what's happened. I need to go flat out because we've got cars which I'm in now. See, new 63 S, and I've got loads to do. So, what we have directly in front of me is a Mercedes AMG C63 S, and this has all of the options it's got night package, premium plus, it's got the lot. And this is going on the website for under 50 grand. What a bit of kit! An incredible condition is I love it in the white with the AMG wheels on it it's just a very 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 cool bit of kit let's be honest as well we've got the new dash which is good which I think is just so so key when we press the home button we've got this lovely screen which is just here as well and I absolutely love that we've got the wheels the buttons on the wheel sport plus oh sounds good and we've got the Burmeister sound system up here. We've got the IWC clock and all this lovely interior. It's really nice, isn't it? Right, the cars are all clean. It looks so good. We have a double Mercedes lineup, the GLE 63S. Honestly, now we've cleaned it, it just looks absolutely unflipping believable. I'm in love with this car. What a car. And then we also have the C63. It's a Mercedes lineup. 530, they're rapid. These are absolutely rapid. And I'm gonna show you for a little tour inside as well. We have the amazing seats, as you can see, they look amazing. The seats, the TVs, I'm going crazy. The seats with the TVs look incredible with the television entertainment kit. We also have this just here, which basically, let's slide it open. We can see many different things. We can do seats, climate, lighting. We can play with the rear screens and the brightness of the rear screens. We can also play with the blinds just here. We can also go here, and then when we're in here, we can do heat, heat the seats, massage, everything else. Full PPF on a Range Rover, it's mad. Anyway, I'm gonna go in here, because what we have, is we have a wooden steering wheel. It's covered just over 6,000 miles. This is a massive option as well, but this is ultimate luxury, everybody. Ultimate, ultimate luxury. I would love one of these, genuinely. It is so flipping nice. And we also have the side steps as well, another option also. Again, look, this is this is just amazing. It is absolutely amazing. It has pretty much every single box ticked that you can possibly imagine. Stunning bit of kit. Check the website out for the cars which have just gone live. It is time to head to the airport because I, I've got a plane to catch. So you now join me where I am in Portugal and uh, I got here about midnight last night and a uh, long day but uh, fun one at the same time and uh, I'm in Portimao so fun fact is in 2012 I raced here in a Porsche GT3R and uh, I won the race which is we're going third in one and we won the second one and uh, so that was very very cool so I actually stood on the podium which is just up there, my dad was still underneath it. So it's sort of bringing back some lovely memories actually. So what I'm doing is I'm here to drive the all new Range Rover um, Sport SV. So let's have a little look at some of the cars which are parked outside. So what we have is we have a few different ones. So we have a carbon bronze car, which is here, which looks incredible, doesn't it? With the carbon wheels. So this is the top spec you can do. They're all edition ones. Um, it's got that very lovely V8 engine. And when I went in one of these cars around Goodwood, it was very, very impressive. And uh, I thought, you know what? I can see what they've see what they've done here for a sort of uh, a big sort of uh, farewell, shall we say, to the V8. Um, I love as well the carbon wheels. Now there is, I'll tell you, I'll update you on the carbon wheel situation on my car shortly, but these have the ceramic brakes, uh, which are a big option. And uh, yeah, the carbon wheels look great. Just don't curb them. I think, <laughs> I think if you're gonna live in London, it's probably um, worth protecting them or something. But when you look in them, this has got a lovely interior. I love the sort of, well, fabric interior. Just so this is the vegan sort of option. SV uh, in there. These paddles illuminate. So when we go on the track in these cars, we're going to actually see that. And what we have here is Flux Silver. So this as well is a lovely colour. And this has the red interior. Uh, and that as well is uh, 
is very nice. Oh, they just do it for me. They do it absolutely for me. Uh, they just, they just are cool, aren't they? I love them with the sort of the greyish calipers. It just has it. It just has it every single. Oh, I keep looking at it. <laughs> It's uh, it's really, really got me going. It's a very, very, very cool car. Now, a little bit of an update for you on my car. So basically, my carbon bronze car was slightly, not massively delayed, but slightly delayed, and that was going to be in June. So that was that was fine. I was happy with that. Land Rover, being the people that they are, very, very kind. They said, well, we can maybe fix that. There's something here. I was like, right. And it's like it's arrived in London. I was like keep talking and anyway there is a car which is actually arrived and it's in the UK and uh, I have the option to get that car basically here it's in the UK and if I want it now in a week or maybe less than a week or whatever could have it on the on the roads of the UK so I guess we could be making cool content in the UK of one of these extremely soon. So that is kind of mad news in itself. So let me know what you think to that. Anyway, I am going to enjoy the day and uh, in, in Portimao and use the car for what I think it's meant to be is on a track and really test the car to the limit. So it's going to be a great time and I hope you enjoy the content which is coming up and have enjoyed this video. Hope you've enjoyed it guys. Thanks again. I'll see you for the next one. Gave you too much, now I'm swallowed.